Hey everyone, what's Welcome back to another Palm Master video. So, um, it's the end of the month approaches, right, as usual. We're gonna go over the units and, uh, see where they're sort of at, and, uh, as usual, check out the, uh, disclaimer first for, um, I don't know, getting into this. Cause it's, like, kind of important, but, um, although it's the same every time, so if you've seen it before, then don't need to see it again. Anyways. Let's, uh, let's get into this then. Let's get into this. So, uh, we didn't have, like, too many, like, big new units in this patch. It's just, like, we got one symbol unit, the Oxus, and then we got five upgrades, right? Or was it four? Four, four, four upgrades to old units, and we got one, like, free unit. So... Not not too much, right, in comparison to, like, maybe last patch or whatever. But still some stuff, right? Still some stuff. So uh, let's, let's, let's talk about them. And, yeah, let's first, uh, let's get down. Let's talk about damage healers first, I guess. So Cynthia's really, really nice now. Like, if you actually look at, like, Cynthia's um, damage, first of all, like, ma ma mainly her sink, because that's where she got, you know, most of the stuff, right? If you look at her sink nuke, that's crazy <laughs> from like one of the like worst sinkers to like one of the better you know striker sink nukers in the game 2.4 million is pretty good for a striker right that's pretty freaking good for a striker and yeah her like damage pretty solid too don't see why not we can't move her up like quite a decent amount right so yeah she, she's definitely going up Right, definitely, you know, around this range, I'd say. Very, very, very nice now in comparison to, I guess, where she was before. And it just helps, man. It just helps when, when your sink doesn't do, like, absolute just nothing. <laughs> so that's that. That's nice, at least. Moving on, let's talk about uh, Zinya, who got Dragon Ascent now. And, and, you know, got a bit other things i guess right but the dragon ascent option is definitely another option right and makes her do one extra thing which is nice right which is which is nice she got her mega got her mega got these extra stats on her mega right which makes it so that her usual kit like Draco meteor right or you know even outrage i guess to an extent that they do more as well <laughs> and she also has like the extra two sync nodes so yeah overall she got a really really nice upgrade um i still f feel people you know overlook her a bit too much but um yeah she's really really good now um i don't know what i'll say man like after she mega she gets rid of the defense debuffs as well which is not the biggest deal in the world but pretty nice right i mean you saw that in the recent extreme battle, right? I mean, at least in that one, she, that helps like a ton. So, yeah. <laughs> Not saying that's a justification <laughs> for putting her up this high. I'm just saying it's just a nice thing that she also has. So yeah, Zinya, Zinya, pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, what else we got? Nolan, Nolan, little low key man. Nolan, low key is 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 <laughs> really freaking nice, man. Um, at the moment not not that he's like anything crazy good but like for oh that went for a week for like what he was before like this guy like bro <laughs> got like furious broad going here on on fury cutter which could you know could get to some really really nice some um, um bp over here right and yeah i got inertia nuke with like what at Mega, 541 attack, 541 attack, right, in Bug Zone, and he's physical, so you benefit uh, quite a bit from the, from, from uh, Ingo Bug Zone, right, like, this guy low-key, all he needs is, like, an EX, and, like, he's, like, you know, you could easily say he's better than a bunch of these other lower-level Bug-type units, right, I mean, DPS-wise, I'd say generally, right? I mean, he's definitely better than this guy. Better than this guy, like, losing mean probably even better than all this stuff. It's just that he doesn't have enough, like an EX over there. But otherwise, otherwise, right? Really freaking nice unit. Yeah, I mean, just from one of the worst units in the game to like, honestly, like, 
Yeah, like, personally, I'd take him over Guzma, right? Take him over Bugsy. Take him over Guzma. It's really freaking good, man. <laughs> for, 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 for a unit of, of his caliber, right? He's not, like, you know, I'm not saying he's, like, as good as, like, I don't know, like, like Zer Z um, Z Zarina or whatever, but... Okay, okay, like, he's, he's almost there, right? He's, like, what, 620k? Right, I mean, that's definitely better than freaking Guzma, but, like, you're close to, like, losing me in bird territory. And again, with Ingo giving you, like, defense debuffs, that's... Hmm, that helps, that helps. Anyways, moving on, moving on. Let's see, let's talk about hybrids, I guess. Um, I mean, Deoxys, is this much of a surprise? I mean, people are, you know, debating him for, like, the best unit in the game overall, so... <laughs> Which is crazy, because he's not even a mass affair. Right, I mean, no surprises here, right? Definitely in the highest tier over here. And... Do we do we want to explain this? I don't know. Number one AoE nuker in the game. Number one damage yield in the game. Number one single target damage yield in the game. Um, his speed form is insane if you're running, like, you know, sync with countdown teams, right? He's one of the best units in the game for that. Uh, you know, his defense form is, um, is alright, right, but, you know, he does support things, buffs your offenses, could tank, and the normal form could set, set tight terrain, and do some pretty good DPS too. Speed form could also do some pretty good DPS as well, by the way. Oh, also speed helps your team speed. Um, yeah, normal form, nice with the flinches as well, I mean, just an overall monster of a unit, man. It's, yeah, it's... It's the number one damage dealer in the game. Like, what else do you want from him? <laughs> like, I, I would say that's pretty good enough to put him in, in the highest tier uh, without without much uh, without much issue or, or much deliberation, right? I mean, it's freaking Deoxys. He's very good. He's good. I, I don't know what else to say, man. <laughs> Anyways. Um, moving on, let's talk about the, uh, the, the utility units over here. The two that got their grid slash one guy got his EX, Banjo, whatever. Um, I don't think much changed about these two units in particular. Yeah, they got their grids, but neither of their, like, core issues really got fixed with these grids. They got better, I mean, you know, they got a grid. Even if it's just, like, all just, like, grid full of stat nodes, still makes them better. Uh, unless, like, the stat nodes are all, like, you know, every every node is like plus one like physical attack <laughs> for like some reason. <laughs> then okay, may maybe they didn't get that much better, but like that's a actually what would plus one physical attack actually net them? Uh, how many nodes is this? This is three, six, nine, eleven, eleven, three, six, nine. All right, so um, eleven times two plus. Uh, nine times two plus I guess two forty two, forty two attack. Never mind, for two attacks not getting you anywhere. Dog. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they got better, but um, did they fundamentally make them that much better to the point where they like, you know, are like move them up a tier? Really? No, not really. Right? I don't. I really think they did. Drake is still Drake, buffs both your defenses, right, which is nice, but again, still pretty slow, which is a bit of an issue over there, and then as for Liza, I mean, she does what she does, gives you special defense, physical attack, special attack, which is all very, very good, now with MP refresh, right, which makes it even better, so you can max it out if you really, really need to, but outside of that, it doesn't really give you anything, um, and... She's pretty slow, but isn't as bad as Drake, just because you have like a one gauge spam bull over there, so it's, a, it's not as bad, but still not great, so they're okay, they're okay, <laughs> it's just that they they didn't really take like another step uh, forward, right, so anyways, um, that's really this one, I guess, not too many changes overall, just a few, I guess, organizational stuff, right, that got changed like in the support up here. But otherwise, um, yeah, I mean, none of these units really affected a lot of, like, other units that much. You can say, yeah, well, maybe Deoxys for some certain, you know, 
um, sick with countdown units, but like most of them are already pretty freaking top tier anyways already, so... <laughs> uh, anything else? Not... yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not like they drop like a huge like new like fighting zone unit, which they could potentially drop soon. <laughs> Cynthia, right? Um, and it boom, it changed like everything with all the fighting type units or whatever, right? So, uh, and, and it just doesn't always have to be like a zone unit that changes stuff. You know, a lot of supports change things too, right? I mean, SS Chris changed a lot for for these folks, so. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, um, that's really this one. I guess hope you all enjoyed. Let guys in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos, subscribe to our channel for some more Pokemon stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one then.